A memorial growing tonight in the area where two teenagers were struck and killed while crossing a street in Vancouver. And the medical examiner says the victims are 14-year-old Taylor Crippo and 17-year-old Andrew Fright. Our Jennifer Dowling spoke to some family and friends tonight. And Jennifer, what are they telling you about these two teenagers? Well, Jeff, of course, they will be so missed here in the community. And family and friends have been leaving tributes all night for them, including some beautiful pictures and some beautiful flowers. Uh, Taylor's family members tell me they believe that he might have been on his way to the school at the time this accident happened yesterday morning. We all love him very much, and it's very, very hard. 14-year-old Taylor Crippo's family carefully placed balloons and pictures at the spot where Taylor and his friend Andrew Freet lost their life. He was just young. He should have had a lot longer of a life. Michelle believes that Taylor was making his way to Y East Middle School when he was struck and killed off 112th. He was only 14 years old. He was just trying to go to school. That's all he was trying to do. The family says Taylor loved football and the Seahawks. They left one of his favorite hats at the site. Because he loves his... Seattle hat, so I left him the Seattle Sea hat. Also at the memorial, balloons that read happy birthday. Those left for Andrew Freet. He would have turned 18 today. But Andrew, I mean, he just always lit up a smile on everyone's face. Just a really funny person. Andrew's friends gave this picture to us of the three in happier times. They say they attended Mountain View High School together. It just hurts because, like, normally he's with us right now. And I don't know, he's gone. Fun guy, hard working willing to do anything for anybody, willing to give anybody his last, even if, even if he doesn't have it. So. Taylor's family is calling for the city to do something about this stretch of road. There are no sidewalks, bike paths, or crosswalks here, and lighting is poor. This is why my step-grandson died. This is why her, her nephew died. Yeah, this area is really growing a lot for them not to think about pedestrians is something that's not good. It's horrible. It's horrible enough that people die. And this road is very tough to cross. So photographer Richie and I had a tough time crossing it. Even in our car, it is very busy and it is very dark out here. Uh, we did speak to the couple that called 911 right after the crash. They came here to pay their respects. They tell us that their heart goes out to the friends and family of the young men. Back to you, Jeff. All right, Jennifer Delling, such a sad story. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you updates as they become available. Well, let's